Hey guys, welcome back to Electric Oka Repair Live guys. In today's video guys, we're going to show you how to know if your oxygen sensor is good or bad. So we'll show you guys how to test it with one of the cheapest scanners on the market. Stay with us guys and we'll demonstrate that. Now all the tools and parts that we use guys are listed in the description of our video for your convenience. So let's go ahead and start on it now. I'm going to show you guys what is happening. We have that Ford vehicle guys here with an engine light on and uh, code that relates to oxygen sensor. Okay, oxygen sensor, uh, bank 2, sensor 1. Now, doesn't matter what vehicle you have, guys. That video will be helpful on any vehicle. So, what I'll do, okay, this scanner, guys, I'm just going to connect it to the OBD port of the vehicle. Okay, let me just get down so I can show you where it is. You know, in case it's somewhere around under the steering wheel in the photo app. So, now, guys. What do we need to do? I want to start the car and show you how we have the engine light on. Okay. You can see guys, our engine light just stays on. Doesn't go away no matter what you do. So now, we have that computer guys. Again, find it listed in the description of the video below. We'll go to diagnostics. And we're going to check the code first. To show you that we have a code. Okay, for a bad oxygen sensor. It just takes a couple seconds. DTC in the ECU, it says 1. Okay, read codes. We're reading the codes now, and what it says P2197. Okay, oxygen sensor signal. Okay, you can see right here biased, stuck, lean. Bank to sensor one, and the other code is the same. So definitely, guys, something, something's bad there. So we're going to go back. Okay, I'm going to go to data stream now. That's where we're going to see. Okay, uh, each of the individual components. Click view graphic items. And now we're going to find oxygen sensor, bank 2 sensor 1, this is the one that's bad. And we're going to compare it to bank 1 sensor 1, because that's a V6 engine, so we have two upstream oxygen sensors. Now, let me show you what a good sensor looks like first, and we're going to compare both of them towards the end. Okay guys, this is the good sensor. You're going to notice that the sensor will go from 0.15 volts to somewhere all the way to almost 9 volts. Okay, check it out now. If I rev it up, okay, it's going to go up and down. It goes to, okay, point, you can see, 0.1 to all the way to point, point 0.1 to point 0.9 volts. Somewhere there. It stays in that range. This is a one good sensor, guys. Now, if I go back and I show you the bad sensor now, that's for only upstream sensor, guys. The downstream will be a different procedure. We'll have it on the video. Okay, bank two sensor one. This is the one that's bad in our case. Check it out. Okay, what the graph looks like. Now, the voltage goes only from 0.15 to 0.2 guys okay check it out it doesn't change almost at all okay this is terrible it goes to 0 volts then it goes back to 0 0.1 0 0.2 the highest it shouldn't be it shouldn't be that way I can actually even go to the graphics and compare both of them <coughs> I don't know if you'll be able to see the okay the colors as good on the camera as I see it in person Okay, now red is the good sensor, orange is the bad sensor. So you can see the bad one, it's almost not working at all, guys. Okay, check out how they don't change the numbers. Okay, this is good sensor, this is the bad one. This is a bank 1 sensor 1, bank 2 sensor 1. So definitely, guys, a problem with that oxygen sensor there. Hopefully, guys, the video will be helpful, guys. To figure out if you have a bad sensor or not 
Yeah, the good sensor should be somewhere between 0.1 to 0.992, somewhere there. The bad sensor will not be so responsive, it will stay in the low or high numbers. Okay, you can see like that one. So definitely guys, a helpful video to some of you trying to figure out. Thank you for watching, please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time.